Ah, 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 I'm back. <laughs> uh, it's been a while. It's because I'm busy. It's, I just want to play some judgment. A Pokemon, this game is fun. <laughs> is that an animal I can befriend? I think so. I'm just gonna get that real quick. Right here, yes. Under I can swap something, blah blah blah, you want a home that's built to last. These are, oh yeah, these are homeless people. Up to summer, okay. Kitty. A name, huh? Uh, what should I name this? That. I named the other one Buddy because I have big eyebrows. Thick eyebrows. Um. I don't think you're a baby. <laughs> I would not give any of those names to a cat. I mean, they're probably. I guess they're probably different in Japanese. I love T Felix. I wish I could. I'll name you. I'll name you Honey. Stay safe. Cute. Meow. Meow. Oh, that gave me a lot of SP, actually. Actually, I should probably check on the cat over here. Uh, I think I should I can just take a taxi there. Where is taxi? Nope, that's camera. <laughs> I need to remember I can actually navigate using the D-pad in this game. Because you can't navigate with the D-pad in the PS4 version of Genshin, which is kind of annoying. I'm gonna just check on my cats real quick, and then... I'll continue with some side stories slash main stories. This is a different cat, goddammit. <laughs> a name, huh? See, Buddy is back there. There's Buddy. I don't know what to name this cat. I feel like I should start taking notes. <laughs> Lou and Ellie are good names. Yeah. I think I'll name me Blue after Bahamut Blue. <laughs> Stay safe. I don't know if Blue would pickle what. Pickle is a strange name. I can imagine it for like maybe like I don't know. Maybe a spotted cat <laughs> or something. I was also exploring the city off off stream and I found Found something cool. <laughs> Which I'll show off in a bit. I can remember where it is. It's just. I think it's just at the park north of here, I think. Love how I can completely disregard uh, traffic safety just because I'm on the skateboard. Uh, is it? Here it is. in the way so I couldn't do it properly. Okay. Hold on. Let me just go straight for the ramp. No. Don't fuck with me. I just want to do some cool shit. Nice. That's pretty much it. <laughs> I think I have roses for the drug guy now, so I'll go give it to him. I think I might also have a play pass for... I might have a play pass for the VR game. Let me try it. I can't remember if I only needed one play pass or like three. I feel like I should only need one though.
Nice VR. Oh, I need three shit. Okay. That's dumb. Player busted ass game that gives me a shit ton of money, please. I had a really big lunch, so. I'm like in food coma mode. You're waiting for yours to get there? What are you getting? Take my roses. Nice. That ancient codex all figured out. We might even discover a new recipe. Eating some garlic. Like it is. Okay. That's fair. Do I have garlic? I guess I do? No, I don't. <laughs> I mean, when you, when you need... <laughs> Sometimes you're just hungry and you need a quick fix. And that's valid. <laughs> As long as you eat healthier most of the time. Well, what should I do? I don't think there's many other sub stories on the map. Let me check my case files. Case, side cases. Find a UFO and take a picture. Uh, I can only do that at night. Forbidden taste, befriend a cat. Nice VR. Liver garlic. Maybe I should just keep talking to the cats for a bit. <laughs> just for a bit. I think I remember once going to the uh what is it? This well not maybe not exactly just Chinatown. But a Chinatown in Yokohama. I just remember seeing a sign that they had a turtle shell soup. Such a charmingly bizarre thing. I was very small at the time, so I was very confused. <laughs> I didn't try it though. Um, hold on, is there any shops that would sell garlic here? I can check. This probably doesn't sell garlic. <laughs> yeah, you definitely don't sell garlic. Um, I think I'll take the extract vessel actually. I'm actually making extracts though. Alright, kitties. It's another. It's the other cat. Okay. Oh, wait. We're in a tin can right now. Hold on, it's getting a little staticky. Okay, we're good. Name, huh? Uh, you're definitely a pepper. Stay safe. <laughs> okay, wait. <laughs> I'm already forgetting the names of these cats. <laughs> okay. Wait. You see, this is Buddy. Buddy with his big old eyebrows. This is Pepper. Very cute gray cat. And this is... This is blue. Yes, it's blue. And... <laughs> and then the cat that I named over... Where... What was it? It was like here. Is this honey? Okay. Okay, I think I got it. I got it. I think I'll go do this side quest since it's connected to the dance club. Is there any... I'll just take a taxi. A lot of cats in this game. <laughs> I guess it's a good thing I got a lot of cat food. Uh, why are we here? I think we were talking about the sugar baby girl. Yeah. Micah Takanashi has been seen on dates. Right. It's probably her. <laughs> like right there. Since she's in a school uniform. 
Anyone else here? Suspicious. Oh, actually, there's another the? guy on the school uniform. It's definitely you, though. I think. Suspicious. What the? Okay, I don't get SP full. Who says? Nope, not her. Is it? I don't think so. Alright, that is... It's her? I guess. I thought it was the girl on the left, but I didn't really look at her. To ride your Ferrari, huh? Okay. Ferrari. <laughs> hey, Agami san, let's get together. Oh, this is Kyoko. <laughs> what a great uh, avatar. She's so. <laughs> yeah, uh. If I saw if I saw that following me, I'd be immediately suspicious. She's just straight home, Kyoko. Wait, can I eat here real quick? Pocket cafe. Strawberry fire face. Go. Napolitan. Cool. Take your Napolitan. Now we're pretty tasty. Thanks. I'll be disappointed if she isn't hired by the end of the game. She's a high schooler. I'm not sure if she can be hired as a private detective until like after she graduates. In turn, I guess. I guess, maybe. She would probably have to stay mostly at the office since it could be. Pretty dangerous, I guess. Amasawa. This disguise does make her look a bit older, though. Huh. Hmm. Yeah. Being a private detective is more than a show, more than just reading Sherlock Holmes novels. This is an important case. Don't stand out. <laughs> she is definitely gonna stand out like this. Oh, I think this is a tailing mission. <laughs> Wait, can I pause the game and throw some points into tailing, <laughs> tailing skills real quick? I think I need it. <laughs> I really need it. All right, let's go. Okay, I can. Okay. Target lock, silent destroyer, mental momentum. This one is good to get. Gem master, upsets. Lower. Uh, also get mental me momentum. And that's all I can spend on for the moment. Oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> not right. well, what's on the menu today? I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked. Oh, did I delete that app? Fucked up. I fucked up already. Can I restart? Can I restart? Can I restart? <laughs> already fucked up. I need a.
This is what I wanted to do. Find <laughs> this very convenient stack of boxes. Actually, I think there's a skill for... When you knock shit over. <laughs> yeah, let me get that real quick. It's just error, come on. Fucking hate salt missions. Going that that way. It's fine. Okay. That wasn't too bad, I guess. Except for that very minor fuck up in the beginning. <laughs> Last file. Oh, hi, Izu. Welcome. Oh, gross. Don't like that. Huh? Uh. My good chan. <laughs> oh fuck! Fuck you. <laughs> This bastard, okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I thought I was done with you. <laughs> uh, I'm going to fuck this guy up. If I were to guess... <sighs> yeah. Fucking Cayenne gang. Ugh. Hey! Stay the fuck out of my... <laughs> Stay the fuck out of my judgment games. <laughs> you? Oh shit! Yagami! <laughs> hmm? This feels like City Hunter. I don't... Um... Nope. Oh, the cold shoulder from Yagami. Hey! Uh, these aren't waifus, these are high school students, so, uh... <laughs> Get to a guess, sorry. Uh. This bastard, okay. <sighs> Either way, fuck that guy up, I will. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Kayan gang was... <sighs> if you're not familiar with the first Georgian game... The Kayan gang was the most annoying... <laughs> the most annoying uh, mechanic of that game. It's like every five minutes, this guy named Kim would call you and be like, Hey, if Kayan gang, uh, Kayan gang is fucking shit up and your encounter rate would just go up, like... Well, like... Your encounter rate would just like shoot up until you beat one of the bosses, and they were... it just happened so often that it was so annoying. <laughs> Don't mess with me. Kanging's dead. Good. By the way, <gasps> why are you? <laughs> why are you trying to date a? <laughs> why are you trying to date an underage girl? Fuck Another you. One. Okay. You piece of shit. <laughs> Next guy in Kentucky site. Alright. Alright, you bastard. Where's my health bar? Where's- okay. It is Yakuza? Yeah, it's- yeah, it's basically Yakuza. The Judgment games are made by the same studio. But, uh, they follow, like, a different story. You're not Yakuza, you're a detective. So a different side of the law. This is basically Yakuza meets Ace Attorney. <laughs> Ace! Hey. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. I don't have the charge attack yet. 
Are you gonna go super mode yet? So I can uh, reverse on you. There you go. Attack me. Punch me, you bitch. There you go. Nice. Hey, I hope I never get to see you again. <laughs> hey. You're making trouble in the Eugene channel, I swear to god. Seryu clan and Jimyoju. Jiyomiju. Jiyomiju. Yeah. Alright. Uh -huh. Alright, that's... yeah. That, that makes sense. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> Sakakiba, Honda, rest of the kind for what about the other guy? The guy in the nice suit, Koga. Happened to uh, I happened to run co into Koga in town the other day. Um, this bastard. Time himself when he first got to Injincho. The Neo. Mm. What? Okay. Name burp, sorry. Oh. Come together all oh, ex kind members. God damn it. Okay. By the way. You've been pulled into go go scheme. Still waiting on the call. I hope he never calls you. Yeah. Excuse me. The professor, right? The professor, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not personally. Co okay. So the Neo and gang is part of the school story stuff. Okay. 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 No one. What? No one's capable of restructuring the Jincho underground like the professor is, sorry. In other words... A real person, not a front or a myth. Really? Um... Probably like some sort of ex-student or ex-teacher at the school, probably. If I were to guess... Yeah. I don't yeah. know what's the connection between the kind gang and the school is quite yet. The teacher don't want you to stop investigating? Sawa? I don't think it's Sawa. <laughs> it seems very unlikely that it's Sawa. Sawa's gonna be involved in the main story somehow, so it's probably more of a side character. <clears throat> Yes. Yeah, why did you start sugar babying? Yeah. <laughs> exactly the question I wanted to ask. Reason for the job. Hey. <clears throat> Is it for the money? Uh... It's probably for the money. The money's for a friend. I see. Okay. What? My friend Kotoko. It can't be. Kotoko Itokura san. Hmm? Second year student, she stopped she stopped coming to school roughly half a year ago. Huh? She's basically a dropout. Um I had a file on her in my phone. Right. Kotoko was always the center of attention. She got good grades, had plenty of friends. 
perfect school life, but then she stopped showing up, and it's um okay. She and I were booths on the school festival committee last semester, and it got really messy. Our summer festival stereo side. Toko and I were both members. Katoko to be volunteered to be committee chair, so some I guess something bad happened that made her <laughs> that basically uh dishonored her. Some 30 years who wanted the position, but no one else would dare stand up to her. So I'm gonna be like she's the professor <laughs> or something, right? Come on a little strong sometimes, she doesn't hold back whether it's one of us or a senpai. It's rub some of the committee members the wrong way so they stop- I see. Causing problems in the pecking order. Yeah. Mm. So Kurosan was partly to blame. Blame the committee like a dictator refusing to listen to others. Yeah, she's probably totally the professor. <laughs> yes. She's not a bad person, she's just kinda harsh. Uh, what they do? Yes. And rescue the festival was the worst serial science school history. Toko Itokura. Okay. I see. Yeah. Kind of bring myself to back her up. It's all my fault. Oh, uh, yeah. Toko lives with just her mom. They don't have a lot of money. She earned a scholarship for her tuition. I see. Is it possible that the whole thing like made her lose her scholarship or something? She's been absent for so long. Okay, I see. Maybe she should have just gone back to school. <laughs> Although I guess she would have been essentially a social outcast at that point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Seriously. Alright. Did you meet your clients? A website. Huh? Yes. You're only get shared by word of mouth between close friends. Really? Posted on the site that I wanted to make a lot of money fast. I got a direct message right away. I'm surprised. Your your URL hasn't been leaked or anything. From someone calling himself the professor. Which means so you can exchange messages on the site. Yes. You girl like you. Ugh. Also told me that he would protect me if I was ever in danger. Well. <laughs> He were that brought you. Um, Bunch of scary looking guys would show up when someone was in trouble. Yes. He saved me a few times. I Might be the new kind game. Possibly. I see. That's it. That's, uh... Have you even been like in contact with Kotoko? I think if you haven't like actually talked to her, <laughs> you shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> yeah. But this is for Kotoko. I get it. But I don't think you're doing it the right way. <laughs> hmm. You, you 
can probably find another way to make money. Did you ever actually apologize to itakura huh? Good question. <laughs> you told her how concerned you are for her. Also, that probably no. Yeah. Yeah. Talk to your friend. Don't do this shit behind her back. Uh... Yeah. Yes. Oops. Oh, we're going to Itokura-san's house, I guess. Okay. Uh, should I do this now? I took a while again. But I've been told that the school story stuff takes a freaking long time, so I guess I might as well. Yagami-san. Uh, wait, actually, let me save first. <laughs> Eight. Go see Itakura. I mean, the game? Uh, we're gonna go see. Uh, we talked to the sugar baby, and we're, apparently she's, uh. Apparently she's trying to raise money for our friend who, uh, hasn't been going to school. In order to pay for her tuition. So we're gonna see that friend. There's a lot going on. <laughs> it feels like. Interior design. Oh wait, yeah, I can decorate my office. So this is Itokura san's apartment. Oh, this is waste. Alright, Takanashi san, we made it. There's the intercom. Okay. Ding dong. Who is it? Oh? Kotoko? Can we talk? Micah? Is that you? What are you doing here? Oh, that's totally Cassandra Leo Morris. <laughs> Just go home. I'm busy. Kotoko, come on. <laughs> that was my dark ball. One minute. Just go away. Leave me alone. That is 100% Morgana. It's very important. This is Kyoko Amasawa from the Mystery Research Club, by the way. Amasawa? Mystery Club? What is this? Takanashi-san's been working as a sugar baby for you. She says she won't quit until you return to school. She's a what? <laughs> for me? I don't understand what's going on. Itakura-san, we know that your scholarship's about to be revoked over your absenteeism. Takanashi-san has been working as a sugar baby in hopes of covering your tuition. What? Even though she's just been through a very scary experience, she still says she refuses to quit. <sighs> Let us in. Let us in. Nice. Now, Kotoko. Well, hang on. What have you done? And why would you do something like that for me? Wait, what is the book she's holding? Well, it's because I wasn't there for you when you needed me. Instead of being a friend, I practically sold you out to the committee. Also, I recognize. Yourself to cover a stranger's tuition? Uh, are you stupid? Why would you even think the school would accept your money? Why do you call yourself a stranger? You're my best friend. Oh. <laughs> that, that's not my point. I mean, why would you go that far? I don't think Cassandra Lee Morris's <laughs> voice quite suits her face, Hello? but it's fine. <laughs> you gonna give me a reason or what? Kotoko, do you remember when you first saw me dance in junior high? I think... You said something I'll never forget. This is the voice of... I what? What's her face? The shiest, Makoto from Persona 5. Planet, exactly what she needed to hear to get her butt on stage. And no. It did the trick. I finally gained the courage to dance in front of an audience, and it was all because you had my back. If anyone makes fun of you up there, I'll knock their teeth right out. She sounds like Iori. <laughs> well, that was just you inspired. I don't think I can go. turn off the autoplay you on this. It, like to be brave and it just got sued, so I just have to wait. I just have to let it play I out. You. <laughs> I turned my back on you when you needed me the most. Even after you'd always been there for me. I was stupid. I was more concerned about looking good in front of the committee than sticking up for you. So, I love you to deal with your 
problems alone. I'm not sure, I've been wanting but because I've only I'm seen, I've only seen heard Allegra Kirk use this voice I once as Yuri in 13 Sentinels. You waited all this time. It sounds like Yuri from so 13 hard. Sentinels. <laughs> I'm never going back to that school. Hang on. Uh, Itokura-san. Hello, I'm Yagami, outside counselor for the MRC. I am also here. <laughs> so what? Do you think you could reconsider that last part? She's not going to quit being a sugar baby until you're back at Serio. But we stop today, I don't think you want that kind of thing on your conscience. Well, I guess that would suck. If something happened, I'd hate to live with that for the rest of my life. But there's just no way. I can't deal with the assholes in my class anymore. Makes me sick just thinking about it. You're like a second year, right? You're like 17, 16, 17. All right. Okay, I can. Okay, out of play is finally off, so I can actually read chat and. <laughs> okay. All right. What's on? What's on my cheek? It's uh, it's a scar, <laughs> basically. So I thought it was. I just see cat when I hear her. Not Makoto. Is it Allegra Clark? It, it kind of sounds like Allegra Clark as. Yori Fuyusaka in 13 Sentinels, which is why I think it's Allegra Clark, although it seems not as likely, since that is very different from Allegra Clark's normal voice. One oh eight. Allegra Clark is, is just listed as additional voices. Does it say who's Micah's voice actress? I'm like actually curious now. <laughs> Micah or another spelling? Uh, I'll spell it in chat, hold on. Micah... I think her last name was Takanashi. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I already kind of forgot. A lot of happened in that it just says Manami Ito but no English voice. Could be Allegra Clark, then. I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway. I think she was holding a mystery book, maybe? So, MRC. Is that a mystery you're reading? Are you a fan? The other one is a cat, though, yeah. Um, yeah, I guess so. What of it? Maybe you'd be interested in joining the Mystery Research Club. Huh? Huh? If being around your classmates would be too much, you could start by just showing up to the MRC after school. That should make it easier to work your way up to attending classes again. Yeah. As for the chairman, um, I'll take care of that. Now, let's dial this back a bit. Why should anyone have to go to school anyway? It's an institution to educate the uneducated, and that's all. To get people into a state where maybe they'll be of use to society. You need socialization. School is fine for people who lack intelligence and initiative. I don't. So I certainly don't need it. Right. You need so you need everything. a social life. <laughs> I mean, I never graduated high school, and I've made my way through things just fine. See? Then what's the problem? Well, hanging around the school, becoming a counselor, it's made me realize something actually. Very important life I'm lesson. I'm realizing that I might have become an adult without, how should I put it, getting to enjoy being a kid. Yeah. Being a kid? Yeah. Both Amasawa and all the rabbits. They're living their lives to the fullest with their friends. It makes me wish I'd had something like that. Hmm. Itokura-san, why don't you just come check out the MRC? I wouldn't wish what I went through on anyone. One of us. If you come join us and still feel like dropping out afterwards, then I'll respect your decision and leave it at that. <sighs> well, if it's such a big deal to you, I guess I ought to consider it. Sandra Lee, Sandra Lee doesn't only suit her face, but definitely suits her personality. <laughs> on the condition that I keep my selfish. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. Y'all give me some will work it out. After all, he's a lawyer. Yeah. When's the chairman to keep giving money to? Oh, oh okay. I'll see you in school.
Think it's a curse on come back to school? She better. So Micah can stop sugar babying. Hmm. <clears throat> Toka wanna tell us no, believe me, she would have just said it to our faces. Yeah. I can see why people wouldn't listen to her though. <laughs> she is kind of rude. It's from her room when she turned yeah. By the way. Takanashi san. Yes, please don't excuse me. Will you be able to talk to the chairman about not yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Syria is a private school, so there are a few, way fewer hoops to jump through. Alright. Yeah. I think most- are most schools, like high schools in Japan... I don't know how to educate this some marks in Japan. Um... I don't want to say anything about it. Going up to it. Like, tell me what you know about the professor's website. Ah. Alright. The lead on the website. Alright. Uh, I guess that's it. I guess now would be a good time to check out my cats. <laughs> Different cat? Okay. A name, huh? Uh, that said poopy. Um Blossom, Frenchy, Poppy. I wouldn't name this cat any of these. <laughs> Blossom. I was thinking either Blossom or Frenchy. I guess you're kind of like a soccer blossom. I think Frenchie I'm more likely to remember, actually. <laughs> so just for that, I'm just gonna name it Frenchie. Stay safe. Uh we also check my cat in Chinatown. And then I'll continue with the main story. <laughs> I am invested in these cats now. Great. Okay. Anna, say hi to me. This one is Pepper. A name, huh? Pepper. Wanna play for a little bit? Um I'll give you food. Uh doesn't matter which food I give it give you. Hurting cat food, sure. Oh. All right, we're getting along with Pepper. Hopefully, I can get Pepper ready by, or any of the cats ready by nighttime. By the time nighttime comes in this game, so I can. Uh... Why do I need to befriend the cats? <laughs> Right, they lead- they're supposed to lead me to a ramen stall that only appears at night. Alright, we do the main story already. Uh, where was I in the main story? I think we're just checking out the building where Mikashiba died or was found. No, leave me alone. Or police tape on it that I can't trespass on. I'm building your soccer at River. Keep out. Lock looks easy to break, but it's still daytime and there are people around. Hardcore time, I guess. Oh. Must be like a window somewhere that I can climb in through. Suspicious. It was closed. Open windows. What the? There. 
suspicious. Looks impossible to get up there. Seems like sneaking from the front is out of the question. I should check the back of the building. Hmm. All right. Here's the back of the building. Can I run through here, maybe? I don't know. Around here? Uh-huh. Let's see, like, there's a way over here. Cannot go through here unless... What the? Broken fencing. That won't work, I'll just have to improvise. Alright. Parkour. Someone came in from behind me. <laughs> Scared. Um, what is that? Here? Hmm. Yeah, here. Suspicious. Or not. <laughs> Zooming in on. Wait, what's happening? What's on my cheek? It's a scar. Uh, it's a thing that it was zooming in on. Suspicious. Oh, here. What the? Through there. Well, I got a beehive. Hmm. Hey. Wait, here? Hmm. Probably not. Uh huh. I could probably Suspicious. climb this here. Yeah. Okay. Our car time. As an elementary school, wait, what? You can get through these areas by taking a running start and pressing circle at the exact right time. That's circle, right? I lost all my brain cells saying this stuff technically work. It's a lot to digest. Not while, well, but, 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 while running, you can cross large gaps by running along a wall. Press X and circle. Okay. About Paul. Bar vaulting. You can also swing across iron balls to clear large gaps. This process is very similar. X to run towards a gap, then press circle to swing across a bar to safety. Are you shooting at anyway? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, let me see if I can do this. Nice! Pointing gun? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, but yeah, my- when I was in, like, elementary school... Can I go up more? Yeah. I had a teacher, or- not a teacher, but a student teacher who was, like, in high school. He was, like, a free render. He was, like, in a bunch of movies and stuff, actually, which was really cool. And, uh, he was not like, he was doing, he's like basically like a stuntman. But he did free running and he taught us how to like, vault over obstacles and how to like land properly so you don't get hurt. It's very interesting. Nice! 
Okay. It's just a little popsicle. Where am I going? Just so I can- I can pos- Cross this pole. I don't know if I want to be up here though. Actually, I do want to be up here. <laughs> Let me climb that ladder first. <clears throat> What's up here? Toughness. <clears throat> Better eat before it melts then. Someone's gonna be eating something. <laughs> Do that? Why did you do that? Why did you do that? Why did you do that? I don't know why you went like straight off with the. Ugh, fine, that's okay. Don't. You gotta make the jump again. God damn it! I don't always wanted to try more parkour sort of stuff, but I'm not very good with heights. I've seen like videos of like parkour courses that are like modeled after like sort of like what's it? Oh. Wait, don't disconnect on me please. Right. Like, sort of like parkour courses that are- that like take place inside of like, uh... Like a disaster scenario, like inside of a train after it crashed or something, and that seems like it'd be pretty cool to do. There you go. Jumping while climbing. While climbing a wall, move L and press circle to jump to another section of the wall. If you take proper position as so shown, you'll be able to make the jump. Okay. Alright. This is terrifying. <laughs> uh, can we go up more? Can we go up more? Yes, I can. Down. Down. Hello? Anybody here? Coming through. Don't mind me, just trespassing on the police... or... crime scene. <laughs> Where exactly was the body? There's gotta be some clues that'll give me that. I see the blood stain on the tarp. <laughs> And also the area that pointed to where the body was. <laughs> Is there a safe way down? Or did, did I just have to jump? Guess I'll jump. He's a private detective, so he's not employed by the police. I think for the most part, uh, private de detectives aren't really part of cases like these. Are these... burn marks? If it's something like a, like a murder, it's more... other than the jurisdiction of police detectives, public detectives, basically. And then, private eyes are more... sort of like... I guess... Hmm. I'm not- I'm no, I'm no professional on this. So take my- take my explanations with a grain of salt. <laughs> But yeah, private detectives are more like of like you wanna investigate an infidelity case or I guess like sort of like cases where you just want I feel I feel like since I'm I'm no professional on this, I shouldn't say shit. <laughs> Black stain. What the Burn marks. See the tarp. I think. 
suspicious. A lot of rubble. What the? What's your badge number? Good question. Is there anything else around here? I've done very extensive research. But I would not call myself a uh, professional by any means. I like to read up on stuff, but stuff you read on my read online is no uh, is no substitute for what you can learn in a school or textbook. Textbook. Something matches up with the photo, so Mikashiba was alive when he was brought here. Which means this isn't just where his body was dumped, it's where the murder actually happened. Huh? Uh oh. <laughs> Spaghettios. What is that? Oh, that's the. Detective guy, I think. Shit. Hey, I heard something. Who's there? Ah, we're fucked. Okay. State your name and purpose. Uh, well... Get some backup over here. Hey, now, wait a second. Can we maybe talk this out? Get your hands up and turn around. Who are you and what were you up to? I'm a private detective. I know this isn't my jurisdiction. Talking to you. Yagami Detective Agency. Yeah, in Kamurocho. Were you the guy at Serio yesterday? I could have sworn I saw your face there. This guy was the voice. It kind of huh? sounds familiar. Maybe. The name's Watanabe, Kanagawa PD Division 1. Charmed, I'm sure. PD Detective, Criminals Affairs Division, Kisuke Watanabe. This fella here is Sakurai. So. Sojiro Sakurai? <laughs> so, you think barging into a crime scene was a real bright idea? What? I thought you guys were done here. I figured I could take a look around. Uh huh. What? You wouldn't happen to be working with Genda Law, would you? Huh? Huh? And you know Genda Sen Saki yeah. Sensei's business? Saori Shirosaki, right? Why do you know Saori-san? Okay, how'd you know? Yeah. Well, it started when Mikoshiba's body turned up. Once our investigation kicked off, we found out about that pervert cop in Tokyo. Right, he would know that she's the lawyer for Ihara. But when we went to go see him, HQ pumped the brakes. They said no interviews on this one. Much to our amusement, we ended up being directed to Shirosaki, the perv's lawyer. Cops met with Sari son to learn about the Ihara incident. Right? But being that Genda Law Office is in Kamrocho, and you're a Kamrocho detective working a case, that means either the two of you are connected, <laughs> or I'm really losing my touch. Nah, you got real detective brain here, well, man. You've certainly got my number. Now that you know, how about taking these cuffs off? <laughs> Smooth, but the jury's still out on you. First, you got any thoughts on all that? On anything specific? The part about HQ locking us out of interviewing a horror smart guy. Here we are with a material witness who it turns out knew about a corpse rotting away for two months. Yeah, why would and they? Tokyo chuckleheads just shut us out. Cover up for a horror. Those tight asses. Assuming that's Tokyo BD, seems like they're stepping on the local police's toes. Any crimes that happen in Jincho would all under Kanagawa PD's jurisdiction, not Tokyo's. Which explains why I'm Watanabe here might be ticked off. Why would... I mean, why would Tokyo PD have anything to say about that? Also, this is like some part of, It's prop. It is probably some part of a bigger conspiracy. <laughs> it's a freaking Yu Ga Toku game. Of course it is. <laughs> the horror was Tokyo PD. So, wouldn't they want to protect him? They probably want it handled discreetly. Nah, if only it were that simple. This isn't about protection. 
They'd get burnt real bad if they tried to bury this shit under the rug. Besides, not only is this cop a nasty creep, he's got ties to a fucking murder. Another prefecture blows the lid on that, the top brass may as well kiss their jobs goodbye. Heads would roll. They've got to wash the shit stains off their laundry to keep their asses clean. Yeah, I can see how that makes sense. Okay. Anyway, so HQ told us their boys would look at Ahara. What we had to do was hand them our notes on the murder. Can you believe that crap? Like hell we're gonna bend over for them. But look where that's got us. Now nobody's interrogated Ahara. Are Kanagawa and Tokyo PD really fighting over who gets the credit? Don't tell me they're that petty. <laughs> like you wouldn't believe. While the higher-ups play intel hoarding games, Ahara is just sitting pretty. Shit. The cop's supposed to be chasing down the perps. Instead, here I am with my hands tied, bitching to a PI. I like this guy. <laughs> well, I'm your therapist now. I like this guy. I was gonna take you down to the station and put the squeeze on you. But if you're a half-decent detective, maybe we could collaborate. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, you came all the way from Kamurocho to sniff around here, right? I highly doubt you found much. But tell me something I don't know, and maybe the cuffs will fall. Oh, you're in my in guy? You're proposing a deal? Depends on if what you've got is worth making one. Such a waste of time, but I want info from these cops myself. As to collaborate, give them a more insight. Photo Mikashiba. It'd be this. Yeah, because they don't have this. They don't have this photo. But I get this photo. <laughs> Where did I get this photo? <laughs> When did I get this photo? <laughs> oh wait, yeah. When I when we got attacked by the Limang at Plague, Sawa Sensei gave us this photo and the lady gave it to her. Good lady in sunglasses, sorry. Okay. This is the How answer. What the hell? Hiro Mikoshima. Was this taken here? Right before he died? Did you get this? That's Shantik. <laughs> Shantik, look. I could tell you better with the cuffs off. You're craftier than I thought. Fine. Let him loose. Alright. Neat. Alright, let me get this straight. Right before you met up with this Serio High teacher, a strange woman showed up with this photo. Right. Yeah, I couldn't get a good look at her, but it seems whatever threat she made worked. Sawa Sensei wouldn't say a thing after that. Sawa's the one who supervised Mikoshiba for his student teaching program. I know that. So this woman you're talking about must have had it in with the culprits. You know they were working in a group. That's quite a revelation. What makes you so sure about that? Limo. Sakurai, show him the photo of the body. And spare me the protocol lecture. I'm sick of this going nowhere. God, I love this guy already. Look into Ahara for us. We may as well take advantage of it. You're the boss, Nabe-san. A neat little eye. Uh. <laughs> Miko Shiba was last seen alive two months ago, October seventh, six thirty a.m. He was talking to his mother as he exited their house back in the city. Since there were no other sightings of him, it's likely he was abducted a short ways from his home. That's scary. This had to be done by vehicle, as common sense would tell us. So there must have been at least two suspects, a driver and a handler. If it were me, I'd have put three on the job. So that's why you figured it was a group effort. Sounds logical to me. Mm-hmm. <sighs> now, according to the autopsy report, they found food in the poor guy's stomach. Based on how digested it was, we can assume he was killed at least an hour after breakfast, putting it around 7.30. And not long after, he was brought here. His throat was slit with a knife. Uh... Get all that hot shot. So today, Mikashiba went missing, he was abducted near his home, and he was killed right here no earlier than 7.30. I want to 
honestly like kept him for a while and gave him meals and shit. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what was our friend Ahara doing at that time? The old purr was walking through Ikebukuro's ticket gates around 7.43 a.m. This was stated in court and corroborated by multiple security tapes. But if that's true, he couldn't possibly have killed Mikoshiba. It's 30 kilometers between here and Ikebukuro. Yeah, that's the meat of his alibi. Yet somehow, he knew Mikoshiba's body would be discovered two months after his arrest, despite being in custody the whole time. But there's no doubt he's connected to the killers. If you just put the screws to him, he'd squeal. Damn it, HQ! Why the hell are we out here working the site if it's already been picked clean? All right, Nabe-san. Deep breaths. I really like Watanabe. Yeah, yeah. I just think he's neat. Do you see why we've got to get someone in to talk to Ahara? So much better no, than, uh, what's his face Saki's from the first so game. Visit if you have to. HQ can't say squat about his attorney visiting. The guy who was voiced by Matthew Mercer in the first game. Of the cop, we only just met and I'm half- Okay. Sure, that's fine. <laughs> what you said raises some questions of my own. About the crime scene and the body. Oh yeah? Ask away then. Get what evidence? All right. Regarding the time of death. How narrow is the window for Mikoshiba's estimated time of death? Based on how digested his breakfast was, he was killed somewhere between 7.30 and noon on the morning of October 7th. Pretty impressed you can narrow it down like that with a two-month-old corpse. Yeah, well, the window gets much uh -oh. bigger if we consider the possibility that the killers forced Mikoshiba to eat. Yeah. At any point after the kidnapping, they could have made him eat a typical Mikoshiba family breakfast. Last meal? It's possible. All they had to do is make him say what he usually eats. Good. We're on the same page. Now, if we take into account the decomposition of the body... Ugh. Mikoshiba's estimated time of death actually ranges from 7.30 a.m. on October 7th all the way to the end of that month. So about three weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks? That's a massive gap. Can't we narrow it down further? The body's just too decomposed to do that. But expand the time frame all you want. Ihara was in custody through the whole thing. So we couldn't have done the deed. Right. Still could have ordered it. two months behind bars. Hate to think a different crime got him such a strong alibi. In any case, someone else killed Mikoshiba. If we could just get in the same room as him, we'd know who that is. What else? Regarding the cause of death was... They slit his throat. Right. What was the victim's cause of death? The news called it a massive hemorrhage. Yup. They slit his throat and let him bleed to death. After tying him to a chair, the killer stood behind him, lifting his chin with his left hand, and his right hand slid the knife. Ugh. Sounds like you guys have that bit on lockdown, huh? It's one of the few things we're sure of. Probably, he definitely has, like, utter injuries, because he was beat up. He's like, yeah. Regarding the burn marks? Uh, uh, the burn marks from the flares? I noticed the burn marks on the floor in the shape of an arrow. What's with that? Somebody lit flares here. Yeah. Doesn't shoot red smoke. It was only a matter of time before the fire department got called, and they're the ones who stumbled on the body. It's Poor firefighters. The set up a smoke signal to make sure the body got found. They probably had the timing all worked out with Ahara so he could predict the body's discovery from maximum impact. And that's exactly what he did, just as the judge handed down the sentence. See? What would be the point of that, though? Yeah. <laughs> For all I know, he just wanted to blow everyone's minds. Yeah, what was the point of... ...of making sure other people found the body? Because they could have just let the body just disappear. Probably... ...dunk it in the river or something, but they wanted the body to be found. They wanted people to find the body. They wanted it, they wanted people to know that it was because Shiba. <laughs> uh, I don't I don't know what else. 
Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what else. Trying to say that the body severely de decomposed. What shape was the body in when it was found? Awful. Full of maggots and decomposing bad. His hands were zip-tied behind the chair, securing him in place. The cause of death was the throat wound, but before that, they really worked him over. Rough way for the guy to go. Damn. They even broke all his fingers. On both hands. Really? That sounds... painful. I would... Fucked up, right? I'm guessing a professional did this. Professional? Yakuza, could be Mafia, take your pick. We've got some guys checking that angle out too, just to make sure there's no stone left unturned. Wait, why would they break his fingers just for torture? I guess, maybe. Were they like trying to get some information out of Mikashiba? I don't know what information Mikashiba would have. So Mikashiba was just like a student teacher. He was like a really shitty bully. Was it like they wanted they wanted Mikashiba to confess to bullying Ihara's son or something? Maybe. Maybe? I don't know. Uh, the building owner. Doesn't this place have a manager? I'm sure it wasn't always like this. There is a property owner. He's been around Ijin Show forever. The building's been deserted for two years. Apparently, there was a padlock to keep the homeless out, but it was long gone by the time they found the body. Broken by the killers, most likely. Keep the homeless out. Broken by the killers. What's the importance of that? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the building owner is also part of it. I'm not sure. Has the murder weapon been found? No. There were no weapons at the scene. A real shame some decisive evidence so when you said it was a knife was that a guess based on analyzing the wound i wouldn't call it a guess the coroner outright stated that the weapon was a sharp knife-like instrument in other words a knife okay i think that's it yeah i think i'm starting to get the picture here i'm not that should be <laughs> for questions i'm not <laughs> tell me you detectives out in camarocho always this hands-on Sorry, what? I'm saying you guys were quick. We had barely set foot in Serio High, and you already had the run of the place. Hell, you even closed in on that Sawa Sensei and got a meeting with her. I was just lucky to have been there on another case. Is that right? Uh oh. Uh oh. What? What's wrong? Somebody's spying on us with binoculars. No shit. Three men, 30s probably. The one with binoculars is wearing a black jacket. My number's on my card! Parkour! Yagami! <laughs> oh, chase time, chase time, chase time. You won't get away! Get away from me! Oh, he's voiced. I had to remember. I had to remember how to do these chase scenes. <laughs> it's been a it's been a hot second. Over. Wait, I should have gotten that. Nope, I'm coming for your ass, sir. During a chase, things like soccer balls, beer cases, or buckets may be on the road. When you get near one, quickly press the button that appears to kick it at your target. If you nail your target, they'll lose health. If they're too far, they turn a corner before you use visuals. The kicked object can hit them. Alright. 
Yeet. Uh, someone was calling me. Oh wait, I should have gotten that stamina in. Oops. This way. These stamina ends. Come on, I almost got you. Almost got you. Get away from me. You won't get away. Got you, bastard. You're also voiced, which is interesting. Great, what's up with this dude? Damn, hot shot. You're quick on your feet. So let's hear why this fool had eyes on us. He claims he just wanted to see the scene for himself. It's true. Ask the other two guys with me. We'll be here in a minute. You were talking about it. <laughs> Better than busting in like you own the place. I thought that was water under the bridge. <laughs> so, who are you? Why'd you run? I ran because I saw a cop jump out a window and charge at me. Are you saying you'd stick around if you saw that? The coolest cop. <laughs> he thinks you're a cop. Should we get you a badge and a hat? I'd be honored. Do you have any ID on you? Uh, will my license work? Okay, son. Age 30. What do you do for work? Oh, I'm just a professional pencil pusher. Biotech. Planning and management. Are your other two pals biologists too? No, uh, one's an investor and the other's a consultant. We all went to high school together. Everyone's went to high school together. You have a Tokyo address. What brings you to Yokohama? Oh. Oh well, I'm organizing a class reunion uh, in Chinatown, so I came to scope out the location in advance. This ain't the way to Chinatown, pal. Oh, uh, we thought since we came all the way to Yokohama, we might as well peek at the crime scene. Not exactly a tourist Pretty destination. Idea, isn't it? <laughs> I suppose. What high school did you all attend? Uh, Kurakawa Academy. A private school in Tokyo. So it's not Serio High. Interesting. Hey! Over here! We'll need to verify your buddy's identification as well. I suggest you all cooperate. Why would you check out a crime scene? Well, I, I kind of get it. Nabi-san! Alright, you jokers are free to go. Appreciate you being so civil. Guess that settles it. They're just dumbass rubberneckers. Guess. <laughs> Tough break, huh? After all you went through chasing them down. I don't mind. I'm out of always swing for the fences. Yeah, well, your strikeout was pretty amusing. The guy who goes down swinging is all right in my book. And with that settled, give my regards to Shirosaki Sensei. He gets some dirt on Ihara soon. And Watanabe is so cool. <laughs> There's a bunch of cool new characters in this game. All right, time for a chat with Sari Son. Great. I hear something though. <laughs> what am I hearing? What is that sound? Is that it's the UFO. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. Take a picture of it. Now. Nice. It's totally a drone though. Hmm? Who is this? Is that... Tokioka? I don't actually know who this girl is. Oh. Yabuki-senpai about his father. 
Yabuki Senpai seems to believe he was abducted, but I think there's another reason why he's missing. My uncle's a detective due to Yabuki Senpai's mother hired him once. Let's find out if her husband was being unfaithful. Wait. Yabuki Senpai's mother. Okay. Wait, okay. Senpai's parents were about to enter some very pretty nasty divorce proceedings when his father was missing. But with all the publishing royalties and TV appearance fees, she was planning to clean him out before she was through with him. Mm -hmm. I see. Had a VFO commotion. Alright. Just ran out with whoever he was cheating with, but Yabuki Senpai, he convinced himself that his dad was abducted. I see. Great. I think it's water lied to him about making first contact. Great. As long as he stayed him well enough, the people he left might always wonder if he was actually a dead uh. Okay. Great. One senpai to face reality. Alright. Alright. Want to like a mystery go unanswered, especially with Sans, while well being is on the phone. Common sense even dictates it, it's highly unlikely that's what these are. They're probably just drones. Alright. <laughs> Not him out of it. Alright. Yeah. What if the UFO was actually was a real spaceship? Okay. I'm gonna get more UFO pictures. Okay. Uh where is my thingy? This one? Yes. UFO. Keeping a UFO locked up under Serio High would explain a lot. Well, from underneath Serio. Okay. Uh, let me check on my cats first. <clears throat> Actually, it's night time, so I shouldn't be able to uh, find the ramen shop soon. Just hope it'll last for another hour. The name, huh? You are blue. Hi, Ace Player. What up? Uh, I'm just gonna. T I'm taking care of my cats right now. Uh, I'll give you some beef cat food. How's your day been? It's been pretty chill so far. Um... Burb says hello too. Hello Burb. Hello Burb. Um... What other side quests do I need to do? Is there anything new on the map? It seems like there's anything new on the map. I can probably check back at the detective agency to see if there's anything there, but... I'll hold off since that will uh, take me to what's its place. <laughs> since we'll continue the main story. Let me just skateboard over to the school since I haven't been really doing much walking. There's supposed to be like a UFO under the school somehow. Somehow. <laughs> Probably looking for the UFO, huh? What up, hello kids? <laughs> hey. Looking for the UFO? I'm uh. underneath the school. Tons of rumors around school lately. One student even saw the UFO exit uh. the building. Head up to the roof. Oh, here's Kyoko. 
Alright. <sighs> Genuine flying saucer. Mm. I don't think that's possible. It's probably just a drone. They look like drones. I, I don't think they're anything other than drones. <laughs> Just haven't done it yet. Just like, just like a, a whole uh, what's it? Little stuff about aliens and stuff. Like it's possible that aliens do exist, but they live like light years away from us, or they don't live at like the same time as humans do. Yada yada yada. That old stuff. Aliens aren't impossible, but likelihood of us making contact is very unlikely, I feel. Unless we start- probably un unless we start colon col colonization in space or something. Yeah, the, Fer the Fermi Paradox. <laughs> Eight. Really gonna show though? Are you taking a girl off for a date to see UFOs? Guess oh. what? <sighs> Sucker like born every minute. I hear. There it is. <laughs> Yo, but where's it? It's like it's like right above me. Yo, but suspicious. Chase it. It's definitely not a plane move. It's probably a drone, though. Not a plane. Hmm? Is it coming closer? It's totally a drone. <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh. Huh? Uh. Smaller than I expected. Yeah, totally. Where'd it go? Where did it go? And next soon includes the UFO. UFO has stopped. And... I think you're out to focus. Hold on. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Ha! Ha ha! Does seem a little small. Hmm? Over there? Where's it going? Well, zoom. <laughs> Go after it. Okay. Gotcha. Grab it. Where'd it go? Yeah, <laughs> fuck catcher. No. Okay. Huh? Okay. <laughs> I guess. I guess somehow this UFO has a stamina bar. Okay. How goofy this music is. Hold up. Yeah. 
Uh, I don't think we should be here in the street. What? Wait, what? Oh, shit, I fucked. Words. <laughs> Hold up. Come to me, aliens. Wait, don't like out of me. Oops. Where's it going? <laughs> Where the hell is it going? Go. This is a tricky little UFO. Totally a drone though. Running, I feel kind of slow. Get it. Get it. It's just. What is it? <laughs> it's a neat little frisbee. <laughs> and a toy. Little frisbee I can use to play with cats, I guess. Cats don't really play with frisbees. Um. This is like tiny. <laughs> Hang on. What is it? Is this just a drone? Hey. Took a taxi. I don't check the aliens or is it remote? It's probably remote. It's just a drone. Who's operating it? Yeah. Can see the propellers. Made in China. Fun. <laughs> There's a jet passing by. Hold on. I'll let it pass by real quick. It's sweet time to pass by. God. Nope, still here. <laughs> okay. Then my dad. Hmm. Kind of pranks happen all the time. No boogie. Bit complicated. I'm not saying you shouldn't believe in the supernatural. I can understand how the unknown is appealing to some people, but at the same time, except reality, especially when it comes to family. That's the important life lesson here. To grow up eventually. This poor guy. Get some research aliens. Yeah. There's a lot of our mystery. Sometimes the truth is painful enough not to feel worse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Still feel bad for you, but he can. That's fair. He has to accept reality eventually. Yeah. Maybe, like, stop chasing UFOs and chase his dad in a different way. Yeah. Is that? Hmm? Oh, is that the girl? Yeah, it's Kyoga. Hey. Hmm. 
Ah, uh, she was piloting the UFO. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you could get you, but yeah, makes sense. Senpai's eyes are always fixed to the stars. Aww. That's cute. That's cute, but also. Just confess to him normally. <laughs> Don't tell him. Oh, this poor girl. Huh. Young love. <laughs> Alright. That was a neat. Hmm? Huh. <laughs> Have just been my imagination. Huh. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> um, let me go check on my cats again. Really want to find this ramen shop. Kind of miss eating at Chinese places. It's a place. Near where I live, it has really good Peking duck. I haven't eat, I haven't eaten there since before quarantine. I miss it. I want some duck. I don't even know if the place is still open. Come on here, kitties. Oh, it's you. The name, huh? Pepper. Steer affectionately pet offer. I think I should keep offering food. Kind of a present, random f oh, it's a desk. <laughs> it's a music desk. Why do you have this, little kitty? Where are we gonna find a ramen stall like this? Pepper, where to find the rum and plates? Come on. I think there was still another sub story at the school though, so I'll check that out real quick. Uh, let me fight these guys. Oh, cool. I always wanted to pick one of these up. <laughs> Where's the other guy? There he is. Nice. What a waste. Oh. <laughs> okay. I guess it's not quite how physics works, but it's the Dragon Engine. It's fine. <laughs> Does this shop have anything for me that I need? Oh. There you go. Uh, no, no garlic. No garlic. This? Rose Harvest. Selling food and drink, maybe? Maybe this place. I'll check it out. Quick. Ah, sure, fight me. Oh, I this is the door open. Cool. It's back here. This is back here. I haven't really explored the city too much. This here it just seems to be a giant complex. And I go here. Is this like a government building? Kind of looks like a government building. A sign? Let's see what this place is. I can't read that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not very good with kanji. Oh, district court. 
Here looks like a district court building. I actually went to court earlier this week for jury duty. It was boring as hell. Oops. Ooh, uh, oops. <laughs> Did that hurt? That uh, didn't hurt too much. Oh, wait. Okay. Do you have garlic? You do, okay. Oh shit, wait, what, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> Why did it do that? I think my controller disconnected for a second. I don't need that much garlic. <laughs> yeah, I feel like such a cool kid. Mm -hmm. Take my garlic. Excuse me. <laughs> Recipe Russian tiger. By the way. Ah. Yoshikawa sensei, the college professor. This is what you supplied us. He's been able to decipher all sorts of information. Each discovery is more thrilling than the last. Can he have bought his own garlic? <laughs> this sounds exciting. You might actually discover something about your past mm. after all. It's my hope. According to Yoshikawa Sensei, he's almost cracked the code in its entirety. Alright. Four leaf clover. I think I have one of those. Nice. I think this might be the last one. What up? Yamasan, I've done it. The codex. Okay. Some of it might be hard to swallow, but if we choose to believe what's written here... It seems your ancestors, Iyama-san, were in fact Chinese sorcerers who crossed the ocean in ages past. They later became the hermits of the mountains. The clan was fiercely devoted to the study of what you call extracts, but in the codex they're called elixirs. The reason they emigrated to Japan is not stated. Not long after their arrival, they were made into vassals of a prominent ruling, ruling family after demonstrating their miraculous powers. Interesting. Elixirs in hand, they treated illnesses, warded off invaders, and improved their domain's livelihood in many ways. Seems that life was good for them. Hmm. Yeah. As the wheels of history turned, they eventually sought refuge in the wilderness. Does that mean what? A certain local lord began coveting their power, intending to use it to conquer the surrounding territory. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That was the plan. An army that could heal any energy or summon supernatural strength would, would have certainly been unstoppable. The clan despised that notion and fled to the remote mountains, and to prevent being found, they began nomads. And writing in code, obscuring their secrets from those who would exploit them, which would explain the mystery of this codex. Interesting. I see. I see. <laughs> How fine people they were. This cool old man. This is a historical record or more of a myth that the culture invented. As a researcher, it's my responsibility to use sort of fact and fiction. My understanding is that this codex was written as a way of passing down the clan's legacy. The story it tells is certainly compelling, I see. I can't think of a single historical document that can corroborate the tale we just heard. The story continues. I see. In other words. When you study ancient cultures, it's important to remember that imagination was just as real to them as observation is to us. All mislead to the truth on some level. I see. I see. Aww. 
something else for you. I found another passage stating that somewhere in the mountains of Shinshu lies a secret resting place for your people. I guess it's time for him to do a pilgrimage. Why don't we go visit together? Alright. I see. Okay. Don't close the shop though, because I want you to make more elixirs for me though. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Thanks for the help, Yama san. You can make some drugs for me. <laughs> I should probably say hi to cats again. Wait, am I going? That way. I just wanna find this fucking ramen shop. Are you guys ready to show me some place? Pepper. A name, huh? Pepper really likes me, I think. I pet you, Pepper. Who's a good boy? Kitty. Really clever. My friend of the cat. I don't know how to continue this sub story though. Is there like a new icon on the map somewhere? There's a sub story right at. Actually, yeah, there's a sub story icon. There it is. I just need to go back to my office. Wiretap lane? What's going on? Wiretapping, no, who did it? B Corpiate Espionage. Excuse me. Companies currently in crisis mode turns out confidential information has been linking to our competitor. Is this his main story or a side story? Happening all over Eugene Cho. Some corrupt detective willing to do all sorts of shady things. Before I do that though. Cats. Oh kitty. Hmm? Which cat are you? Is that a honey? That's I think that's honey. Hey honey. Where are we? <laughs> What's that in the background? Amen. Jo-san, come over here. Where are we? Um. Cats are gods. <laughs> yes, yes, in fact, they are. Menu only service ramen. Sure. There is a lot of cats here. I don't think they use cat stock. <laughs> yep. Excuse me. If we use oh. cats for them, please don't. Okay. Fisherman. Bonito soup sauce. I see. So it's the smell. I see. I see. Ah, so delicious. Uh, I fucking love lemon. Pork, bamboo shoots, green onions, good shit. He's just so tight, man. Simple bonito soup shop. Soup, 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 soup stock. Ginger, mirin, chicken bones, garlic. <laughs> it's 
most definitely not cats in the soup. Love, how cheesy. Okay. It's like um, Japanese like masters of their crafts are very passionate though. Very good at what they do. Try it. Huh? What is it? Final piece was the chef's finger? Wait, what? 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 Huh? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. Okay, I guess. Uh, let me do the buzz researcher stuff. But I finally busted the bastard behind the listening device. See the reports on how the government uses the listening device on our phone. Operate. And install the. Alright. There's that. Is that sign? No, that's the main case. Um, I think I want to do more school story stuff though. Uh, is there anywhere around it? There's like a bar here, I think. Survive. I uh, got the martini. Let's have a margarita. I like margaritas. Very tasty, thanks. Very good. Now go tourist. Wait, let me fight these guys. I'm pretty- I'm pretty sure I have the junk in this skill. The stronger I get. Sober. Yep, now I'm sober. So, uh, let me get more alcohol. <laughs> Just clear out all of these shops in the bar district real quick. Stay down. And I think that's enough farming for now. Let's do the school story stuff then. Sour. Ganashi affiliate website, yep. Yeah. It's on the dark web. I see. Hmm? Are you seeing like the soul internet? Yagami, you should know about the dark web. You're a detective. Does that mean? Websites we usually normally browse are either on the surface web or the deep web. Public fair, like blogs and shopping sites, are accessible by anyone, so they're considered part of the surface web. Deep web is comprised of standard but secure websites, email services, privately shared documents, etc. That being said, dark web is entirely different, though. These are websites you never stumble across in your daily life. What? I see. Yes. When I come up in a search engine, they aren't even accessible in this use their propriety valid browser. Truly lawless land left in our society. Yep. I see. One's curiosity can be one's undoing. Very high degree of anonymity, making a hotbed for cybercrimes of all kinds. So you can buy anything you've ever imagined on the dark web if you looked long enough of it. 
Counterfeit money, fake passports, illegal animals, get it. Even a site where you can hire assassins. Interesting. Yes. It's not so terribly grim, is that? But the students posting on the site definitely have some unsavory quest, I see. Let's see what we're dealing with. Mm. Ordinary bulletin board at first glance. I want to ace the mock exam. I want my crush to notice me. It's a bad notice me. Some had their requests answered. Here the professor replied with the prices for all different answer keys to an upcoming exams. How would they have those? Unless they were like a current teacher or staff member. What does that mean? Someone would have to hack into a school server, I guess. Yeah, that would also make sense. So what, like, is there like, I don't know, like a technology club that we can, uh, infiltrate? If I were to guess... Not that per professor himself and someone under his M. Anyone registering on the site needs to provide a serial high student ID, presumably to weed out faculty and parents. Yeah. Dancing Bunny, is that Micah? Dear Professor, I want to see Misaki High's dance captain Yurie Norizuki get in- Whoa, oh. Is this Sayaka? I want to see Mizaki High's dance captain Yurie Norizuki get injured during the dance jam finals. Do it right before she goes on stage. Ruin her on the night. She wants everything to go her way. Ruin- Jesus Christ. <laughs> These high schoolers are savage. Hmm? Yeah. It was probably Sayaka. But would Sayaka go that far? What was that? Previous post. He complained about the club's advisor, and another day asked for advice about something that happened during practice. Unbelievable. Okay. It's probably Sayaka. Sayaka's probably the only person who- well, Sayaka's the one who would benefit the most if Yurie got beat up or something. Considering the professor's ties, well, ties to the Neokai and gang. I don't, I'm, I'm not sure if they're aware that they're doing these, like, stuff illegally, technically. Like, if you're gonna win, you should win on your own merit. I don't do it. Ah. My cuss back? Yagami-san! Thank you very much! <laughs> Nice. Yes. We have our bills strong at regionals. We're gonna zing them right out of their seats. <laughs> eh, that's so funny. Anyway, who? <laughs> Which of you guys put it a hit? <laughs> What's that? I don't know what that was. Okay. I guess we just got a dance practice. Let's freaking dance. Fucking dance, man. Uh, that wasn't as good as I hoped it would be, but <laughs> it was challenging. Definitely challenging. Good. I'll save the recording though. I think I only just need to play it again one more time. And then I can unlock a new song. Micah? Yagami-san! 
Hmm? What up? Hey. Uh, sus. Where are we? The gym? Hey. Oh, hmm. we're in the stairwell. Is it? Kotoko? Yes, it is. Come on, Itakura. Got it, Itakura. Hey. No. Come on, just be friends. <laughs> I hope Ayaka, or not Ayaka, Kyoko comes out and just drags her in. Is Amasawa a third year? Because Kotoko is supposed to be a second year, and they're calling her senpai. Uh, what? Huh? <laughs> oh, exclusive. One of us. Okay. Hmm, not bad. <laughs> Aw, they're making friends. It's so cute. A mystery fanzine. That's uh -huh. great. <laughs> yeah. That's cute. That's so cute. I need to update my focus and my guts, though. That's really cute. Friends! Friends! That's cute. Let me in. What's going on? What? I saw him in the faculty room. Hmm. But he won't- sh uh, I guess... I guess they're, uh, actual club advisor. Nagami-san! Mikado-sensei actually came to school uh. today. Yes. Yeah. Huh? Does he look like... So bushy hair, pale face, his shirts are always wrinkled, I think he's like 25 years old. Well, uh, well, uh, well, 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 well. Bibi? Awa? Wawa? Awa? Wawa? Wa. Hi, Bibi. Gotcha. Hey. Uh... I'm just looking for Kamikado sensei You're on your lunch break? I hope you're having a good lunch. Thanks for stopping by, hero. I'm, uh... Am I going? Here. I'm winning in a sense. I'm making friends with the fellow kids. Some kids become friends. Some kids become punching bags. That's true. Gotta speedy cause you fucked diddled your time. Eat faster. Don't choke. <laughs> they only become punching bags if they're little shitheads and bully other students. It's the only reason. This guy? Excuse me. Are you Kamikata Sensei? Huh? This guy looks like he looks really punchable. Yeah! Chairman told me about you. It's so great you're loaded in my hand. <laughs> so what do you think of the routine? Yep. Really coming along. No thanks for you. No thanks to you. <laughs> when Grey Cap, that team, that routine, I've always been a rather passionate about dance. Why the fuck haven't you been showing up? <laughs> Excuse me. I would seem a little lost without you. Anyway, you could step back in and help him out. No? So why does he sound like that? <laughs> that sounds like, uh, Yuri Lorenzo. Huh? 
probably won't understand, but it's essentially due to complications from a broken heart. Does a girlfriend break up with them? Huh. Uh. My love was the most incredible dancer, now she's out of my life, I simply... I, I see. <laughs> I see, he's just being a little bit of a drama king. Drama queen. Do you want a teacher around? Who's constantly throwing up? I mean, I, you should at least resign from your position as an advisor formally, so they can get a new advisor in. Huh. You can take this, maybe it'll do you and the rabbit some good. Dance textbook poppin'. <laughs> hmm. Real swingin' on this, right? Yes. I think I'm supposed to get like new outfits for it. Fun. I know there's like a place I can buy new outfits for dance stuff. I wanna check where that is real quick. If an outfit is signed, we can make it into order. Okay. Wait, really? There we go. That looks nice. Down to outfit for real. Hip hop idol. Good thing I am filthy rich. Good to know that there's a nice little sidewalk that goes straight from the school to the bar district. Doesn't exactly seem like the smartest idea though. This teacher is gonna get a uh, hosey on over for a quick drink after work. I don't know where we're supposed to unlock more clubs to advise. I've been focusing on a dance club. A lot. Ah. Any luck? Nope. Should just formally resign as a, an advisor at this point. Okay, team. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't. Huh. Cool. What <laughs> Kamikado? Ain't. Let's do this. Ain't. I know. I have outfits still. What do you think? Nice. Nice. Been it real. Yeah, pretty cool. Yayami has a really shiny collarbone. <laughs> awesome. 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 Nice. Awesome. Is that his collarbone? It's like shiny like that? It's kinda weird. Oh. That was pretty good actually. <laughs> Good, I think. Hey, we're looking good. Alright. We're ready for the regionals. Drink water. Okay, team. Yagami-san! Alright, let's do yeah. it. Sayaka! Norizuki video. Yeah. Hmm? One uploaded a video of Misaki's High's dance club's latest routine. Ooh. Yikes. Hmm. It's phenomenal. Yeah. Hmm. Ah. You guys. Ah. Yeah. Ain't. I want to do that right now. It might lock me in into another series of cutscenes that might take a while, so I think I'll leave it at that for today and I'll do I'll do the regionals next time. <laughs>